All right, hi, this is Blake Ryan Mercer, and I'm showing you guys the detail of how Thomas and Friends was made. So this TV show was made uh, almost 37 years ago. I almost thought it was 77, but Thomas Gets Tricked was the very first episode, and I, I think this is the fourth episode. And here's how they made it, and there's Henry, and... And this is how they made it. And there's Thomas rolling his eyes. And I've seen this in the movie Thomas and Friends Halloween Adventures. And from Thomas Gets Tricked a Movie. And here's how they started it. Okay now guys listen very carefully. I saw a little mistake on this. And you guys can pretty much pay attention what's going to happen. Okay um, I saw there was a little mess of like a little wrinkle on the other side of the sky. I thought it was a mess up, but this looks really nice in the detail. I mean, just look at that. And I see that it's like an inside coach. It's like the island of Sodor is a real place. I almost thought so, but it's not. And, uh, oh, there's the mistake I saw. The I think they used some kind of blanket or sheet for that, and I know how they made it now. But they did a really good job, and Wilbur Audrey, I bet, was the greatest man in the world. Alright, and there's James, and this reminded me of my, this reminded me of when I lived at my grandma and grandpa's house. Not lived there, but when I used to visit there at Dallas, Texas. And it reminds me of when I was in fifth grade and when I... In 2008. 2008 was when I was in kindergarten. Or in 2003. And there's James. Just sitting there. With a sad face. I kind of feel like I wanted to make this show. But yeah. They did a really good job. And there's Thomas. And here's how they made season 2. There's Edward, and this reminds me of my grandma's house, too, and my other church, and my grandma and grandpa's church. And season two has a was a really nice show, except phones weren't around at that time. There's Percy, there's Thomas, and uh, look at Thomas's face. His face looks really, really angry, like his pain is more blue. And I know how they made this show. There's Thomas. And I've seen the movie Thomas Breaks the Rules VHS. And a Dietrich's house and there is his face. And there he goes getting coal all over him. That's my favorite part looking at. Alright, so there's Edward. And there's the brake van. And there's the sheep and the animals. Oh my goodness, this isn't Bach. This wasn't Bachman Dreams. These were probably real shirts. But look at that. That looks like an outside world. Like I wouldn't have been there. And there's Edward. Not an angry face, but he looks like he's cautious. And there we go. Okay, now there's the driver singing about Johnny. Like Bertie's late. And you can pay attention to detail on how this was made. This was not that hard to make at all. Okay, here's where Duck first came out. There he goes, and there is Duck. He first came out on this episode, and he's calling him Montague. I've seen this from Thomas and his friends get along the movie. Okay, now he's just quacking with other passengers. Like, what is he doing? I've seen this before, and it was so funny. Kind of feel like I wouldn't have made it from my face, but yeah, he looks pretty good. Eighth train. Now here is season three. Season three, the best show ever. There's Thomas. Now this reminds me of Charlie Brown and it reminds me of other things too. Not Good Luck Charlie. I'm going to tell you what it reminds me of Good Luck Charlie in just in season six. There's Thomas. Reminds me of my grandma and grandpa's house just a little bit. But yeah. That looks like a real place. Almost dreams that I used to have. Not really dreams. Kind of, but yeah. 
Okay, now I've seen this episode in, I think, Trust Thomas. It felt like a dark movie to me in the movie Trust Thomas. But yeah, there is James. There's the driver. And there is other ones. Okay, now this is very, very, very weird. Not weird, but this room must reminds me of me being at Arkansas and when I used to live in an apartment 2012. And there's James telling Gordon he's had too much coal. Okay, now here is season four. I've seen this one before many times. and You could pay attention to the detail, but yeah, that's what happened. And there's Thomas, there's Henry, and there's Thomas just sitting there with the, the other trains. And this is how they made season four. Reminds me of Arkansas. And oh my goodness, I'm going to have to rewind later on. But um, that looks like a card or something. The mountains, but they did a good job still. And that looks like the island of Sodor. And there's Duke. I think I met a friend named Duke. I was in second grade, and I've probably known him for a long time. I don't know. I think since I was in 10th grade, I've seen him. Last time I've seen him, he was sick, and I don't know if he drives yet. should start doing that more often. But there's Duke, the brown engine, with the other trains. There's Duke with the brown engine. Okay, now I've seen this before. There's Scar Lowy. Yeah, it does remind me of going to Arkansas, because you see Scarlowy, kind of looks like Mexican, but it's not, the filter does, but they did a good job still, not to mention that, all right, so you see how they made it, okay, now you guys can see what they did right here, they made it just as possible, and isn't that how they made it? Okay, that looks really dark. There's a shooting star. That looks like silent. This is my favorite part of all. Thomas and Percy pulling trucks. That is definitely my favorite part of all. And there's Thomas and Percy with the milk cartons. And there's Cranky. I saw this from the movie Cranky Bugs. And this is one first... Cranky first came out. This reminds me of Arkansas. I'm not Ar no, Ar going to Castle Rock. And my parents were four years married when this came out. They lived in another state. And this is Cranky. And then he banged the load. And there's Thomas and Percy. Gordon and James. This looks like a real, real place. Now, here's Gordon, and I saw this on the Halloween Adventures, and it does remind me of when I, uh, where did I live at? Uh, I lived in Texas, and I, this reminds me of when I was in kindergarten, and I bought this movie. And it almost reminds me of Texas, too, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, now I've seen this one before. They're pulling trucks, and, yeah, that's to the story. And they're feeling lonely. And there's the... Now I know exactly how they made this. They made this really great. And I... I cannot tell you how much... I know how this was made. And this reminds me of rap music. And uh, going to the mall that I used to go into in Texas. The Books A Million store. My older brother was born. Three months born after this came out. And... When this came out, I mean, and it was made July 26, 2000, and uh, there's Toby, and I know how this was, I know that, and yeah, this reminds me of almost bad dreams I almost used to have, and it reminds me a lot of good things, but yeah, almost my grandma's house, when I had a dream, not really, but it reminds me of a lot of good stuff, and there's Thomas pulling the coal cars. And it reminds me of my 
church I used to go to. I have a lot of reminders from Thomas and Friends. Other TV shows, and there is Harold. And this is my favorite part. Oh, sorry, bless my Micta. I don't know what he said, but yeah. Then he's covered in gold dust. And uh, yeah. That's pretty hilarious. And then he's like, this must be what Diesel's doing. I chew, I chew. That's what I remember. And uh, there's the funny part where Mr. Conductor falls. There's... Okay, now, this was my favorite part. It reminds me of going to a far football game, Thomas and Friends Season 6. And one time when I lived in Texas, I used to have a dream of when I was with my mom going to a church. And then when I left church, I had a dream of my mom leaving me. And I had to pick up all my toys, but then my mom already left. And then I just jumped off track. But then, it was just a dream. It was a good dream, but yeah, this was the best part. And uh, you can see that Cyril's putting an X mark there to warn that there's fog. I wish that wouldn't have happened to us. Alright, now this is when Thomas first came out. I'm not, 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 not Thomas, sorry, Jack. It's when Jack used to came out. And the first episode of season 6 was when Salty came out, but there's Jack. Jack, Jack, the pack. And uh, he is number 11. Okay, now, now it probably has to be number 2 or Alfie. I'm going to have to do that later on. Make a video of that. But yeah, there's Thomas. And I can see that there's Miss Jenny. And that puppy dog. All right, now there's the snow plow part. It's very funny because the driver's like, we'll have to try that again. And Thomas was like, big, hard, awkward thing. And there's Tipman Sheds. Not Tipman Sheds, but the station. There's Thomas, James, and there's the red balloon. And this is how they made Thomas and Friends season seven. Now this season... When I was little, it reminded me of going to Texas, but now it reminds me of the house that I used to live at in 2009, the very first time I moved to Colorado. And that was April 2009. My guess was April 9th, and I moved on a Saturday. I remember a lot in the past. And uh, there's Sir Topham Hat, and that is when Emily first came out, the first girl train. Guys, listen up. I was one year old when this in 2004. I was very young. The very first house I lived at. It couldn't have been made when I was three or four or any other age. But I was very young. But this is a great season. I mean, it's a sunny. It's like it's a sunny day. And I've seen this before. And it does remind me of the house I used to live at in 2009. And yeah. Could pay really more attention to Thomas. Okay, now this is very great. And, um, yeah. And then there's season 10. Ooh, and there's the tree. Toby, the afternoon. And there's Mavis, the black diesel. I saw the episode on when she first came out. And there's the sun. And there's Thomas and the sticky cheese. I don't know what Dinky Cheese is, Dinky Cheese, but oh, yeah, fell all over Arian Burt and Thomas. First saw when Arian Burt came out, and there's the birds. Now, season 9, 10, 11, and 12 is the best. Okay, now guys, listen, this, I was so happy to see the talking version of Thomas and Friends when I was a little kid. This was very nice, and I was six years old, and... This was, and see the face. This reminds me of bad dreams I used to have. And uh, this is how they made Thomas and Friends a lot of seasons. But this is the 19th season. And oh my god, this was hard for them to make. I don't know if they used Bachman trains or not. Or if they used the, I don't know how you explain those trains. But yeah, this is funny. It's hitting Thomas everywhere. And I bet Thomas made a big mistake there. 
<laughs> okay, if I had something in my coffee, I would just take it out or just, oh, I can't drink it. It's something dirty and I can't even use it. And there's Cranky actually talking and worried about what Thomas did. So I bet you Thomas is going to back away because he's in trouble now. But I'm not a train like that who made a mistake. thought this reminded me of the far football game, but this is hilarious. Okay, Thomas, you and your excuses of you need to watch where you're going. That's why when I'm in high school, I need to watch where I'm going because there's so many people there. But I don't really mind. Today's my day off, and this is why I'm making the video. And I don't know if I still might watch Thomas and Friends. There's other shows on my watch but in shows they make them look like they did something wrong but they didn't okay now salty you are the best diesel ever you are telling tales and i forgot what that other diesel's name is but he looks nice i mean i don't know if he's a steamy or diesel. me might be any other but the sky looks nice and they didn't use the curtains they used the actual sky because have you seen my videos? XCFX Pro was how I made it. Oh no. There is Sir Topham Hat. You know what? He's got good news. And uh, yeah. Okay, now there we go. Oh, watch what you're doing, driver. Oh no. There's Thomas and Diesel. Okay, this is hilarious funny. You see how they did that? They did it exactly right. Okay, Diesel, watch where you're going. You're gonna hit Thomas. And that's how they made it. 